Bob, we are here. What's up? Hi. How are you feeling? You got your epidural? Yeah, I have the chills. Yeah, you came in here demanding that epidural, huh? Ooh, give me that shit. Give me that. How, yeah. How's dad doing, Bob? Dad's doing good today. He's really doing good. This is the best he's ever been. On the third third time's a charm. Uh -huh. Fourth time's gonna be even better. No, we're not having a fourth one. That hurt too bad. <laughs> and if I have a fourth one, the baby will probably literally be delivered at home. Why? So guys, we are... I started contractions at 4.34 this morning. It's 6.41. Something like that. Something like that. A.M. I am probably past seven now, but when they checked me, I was seven centimeters. She said seven or seven and a half. And she couldn't even check all the way because it hurt so bad. Oh, my God. It just happened too quickly. <sighs> all right, guys. So, I am now... Nine centimeters dilated. I have the chills. I did get an epidural. I just had like a minor anxiety attack. They gave me some Zofran. I'm feeling really nervous. They put my catheter in and stuff. But I was at home for one hour, literally. I got to the hospital. I went to labor at 4.30. I got to the hospital at 6. And, um... Sorry, I have the chills. I'm nine centimeters already, but when I got here, I was seven centimeters. So, this little girl is coming. Babe's over there. <coughs> well, say hi. I'm scared, honestly. I don't like being in the hospital. The hospital is giving me weird vibes it's so cold in here went to lay down and the fans like right above me just freezing I'm lucky I took this jacket I'm lucky I put these pants on I put no shorts on Oof, ah. it's cold oh it's freezing and I feel so sick I'm scared it's okay to be scared, but... I feel better now that I have the epidural, but I'm just like... When I had my first baby, I was real scared, too. You hear me? I'm just hoping that, sh you know, everything goes safely. I don't have to get out of ass open on the first day. The first day of school. For no, she getting popped. She just went... Oh my god, that woke me up out of my sleep. Man. I don't know if I called it. I tried to call the nurse. Watch out for that pad that's on the floor. Put your shoes on because I'm, I'm about to give birth. Mm. Oh my god. Are, are you uh, close by for a delivery or anything? Oh god. Okay. Uh oh. It's a weird feeling, huh? Yeah, it's like a little personal, that's why I say it's like a personal earthquake. My water never broke before. I always had to get it popped. Yeah, had to get bro broken, I mean, but I can't cook, but bracken, rice and bracken. There you go. Okay. And yeah, I'm going to turn this. Uh, here, help me up. I'm going to turn this light on the because i got to see a little bit. Can you lift up a little bit or tilt towards the. Are you holding on to the thing? Cause I can't tell. No, you want me to hold it? Yeah, hold, hold with your hand. Yeah, but with this hand, hold the, yeah, there you go. That gives you a little bit more grip. So that was it. Okay. That was it. Was the that was it. Oh yeah, that was it for sure. I never felt that before. That kind of hurt a little bit. 
Well, well I don't know if it hurt, but scared me. It's a weird feeling, that's all I can say. I had one kid with it. Can you go on this side for me and help me out for a second? Because we're just kind of heavy. You're going to come back, okay, in just a second. Let me get a clean pad here. Um, I was going to say, one of my kids' alarm had broke, another one it didn't. So that's the only reason I know. <laughs> <laughs> and at first time, it was like, can't it break? Or am I just weak, you know? Like a volcano or something. Yep, and you'll continue to make fluid until the baby comes out with one hand. You're going to hold this side. Mm -hmm. You're going to give the other hand. And you're going to hold right there. Two hands always time. Yeah. Save so you do your back and like. This will go into okay. Go ahead, nice and slow, Mama. We're going to switch sides, okay? Papa and I are going to switch sides. Ooh. And we're going to switch sides. Mm. I'm going to have to grab me. You want me to go? Yeah, you're going like, towards him. Can you just grab it Grab it to like put over on your bow. Okay. Sorry. I'll give it back to her. I just wanted to. There you go. You got it right there, girl. Is there a shower in here? You're just, you've got numb legs, so you're not getting up right now. <laughs> First time you get up, you'll get up with the nurse though. You don't want to get up alone because I don't want you to fall, okay? And I normally I don't get people up. With <coughs> I gotta turn because I'm having short distance breath when I'm like this way. <coughs> turn around when you got turned. That's fine. Oh. Okay. <coughs> Can you go up? Can you go up? Like that. That's a perfect. Okay. Is that the right direction or you want to go this way? It don't matter to me what way you go, I just need you to get yourself comfy. Yes? Is that feeling? Do you have asthma? Okay, so right now are you feeling like you have asthma? Yeah. Alright guys, so last night, um, <coughs> I told you guys that I wanted to have the baby. Hopefully he's here in the morning. Boy, she coming quick. She do not care. She don't care. She on her way. She took a couple of days past her due date. But she's coming quick. Ooh, I might feel like I have to push. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, yeah. Okay. I feel like I gotta push. Um. Um. But. But. I feel like I gotta push. Come press the button. I can't turn around. Hurry up. Ah. Oh. Oh, I gotta push. Oh. Uh oh. I gotta push. I, I pressed it already. I gotta push. Woo! Huh? I can't help it. She's like coming down. <clears throat> My water bag just busted like five minutes ago. Oh no, I feel like I gotta push. Here. Put this down. Uh, I feel like, I kind of feel like I gotta push, but I don't know. There's a lot more pressure. Yep, yep, I want a lot of pressure. Okay. I figured you'd get close because your your baby was just a little bit high, so I figured a couple could try. Oh. She said the baby's coming. Out. Oh. Out. She said she feels the baby coming out. Oh. I'm tired. I'm tired. You are? <laughs> I was, I was I was just getting comfortable. <laughs> Hopefully this baby comes soon. Or oh, it waits. How's that last little contraction feeling? I don't even feel it. I just feel a little bit of pressure around the vagina area. Remember Kuch Kuch all day? Yeah. You gotta take a little bit of you like this. Oh. Like that first. Oh. One, two, three. Perfect. Here. Bye. Bye.
No sleep? Three deep, no sleep. Four deep, but you. <laughs> oh. Three deep. I made it out alive. <laughs> <laughs> that right there, I mean, it. You I did a great job, but that was like it wasn't easy. As bad bro. A scenario. It was easy. I think it was easier in the story, too. Really? It seemed like it. It was, you did a great job. That was like. It was easier I think you can have at least two more kids. No, it was easier than Surrey. <laughs> it's too early for that. It's, it's <laughs> give her a year. Give her a year. No, give me, um, yeah, we can adopt like a five-year-old son. <laughs> you have all girls at home? Yeah. Yeah. Birth, you know, we'd be on our Benny Hanna grind, but <laughs> it's COVID season, so how about... Look at that little cutie patootie. Sonali, Amira, you are a cutie pie. You look like your sister. Let's just hope you the good version of her. <laughs> I did it guys. I made it. We had her at 10.05, I started pushing at 10 o'clock. Um, all in all, I am blessed to have a healthy delivery. I'm not in any pain right now. I did get the epidural. I'm able to walk and stuff just fine. Um, later, I'm going to hop in the shower. Once Ace gets a little bit of his editing in, once he takes a break, I'll hop in the shower once they tell me it's okay. Um, but I made it. I'm like overwhelmed with joy. Um, I, I don't feel like it could have went any better than it already did. The only complication that I did have is yesterday, well this morning, not yesterday because we came in this morning. So just a little backstory. So I went in at, well I woke up at 4.30 to use the bathroom and I had a little bit of bleeding and, the, and then the contraction started. And then, let me turn this down. I had a little bit of bleeding and then the contraction started, but I thought I was about to push her out on the toilet, literally. I was having contractions uh, last night, starting at like 6 o'clock, but they weren't really like painful. They were just like really tight and like, you know, uncomfortable type. But then this morning they just came, and then they stopped, of course, at like 10 o'clock. Uh, we went to sleep. I woke up at 4, yeah, like I said, I woke up at 4.30. Went to the bathroom, all that jazz, and then by 5.30, I couldn't take it anymore. That was just one hour in. They were already, And they started out at three minutes apart, so I, like, went and hurried up. Oh, the nurses are coming in. Hi. Oh. Hello. Hi. Okay, so they left out. Sorry. But, yeah. Um... So yeah, an hour into it, we started really, I uh, started really being in pain. Ace was trying to go back to sleep. He thought he was slick. He was like, let me go put Sonari back to sleep. <laughs> I was like, uh-uh, you gotta get your ass up. Because I'm in pain. He made like a little pallet on the couch. But 
<laughs> that didn't last. That didn't last because before we know it, I was like, I'm going to have this baby at home. Like, that's how... Yeah, this was set to look like a pizza. Let me see. The, pre- the pressure was so strong, huh, mm-hmm. Bob? I was like, I don't know if I'm going to make it. And he was like, you can't push. Like, don't start pushing. And we were going to go to Sacramento, but I knew I couldn't make it a 45-minute drive. I just knew I couldn't make it. I was like, if I drive, if we drive, I'm going to have this baby... If we drive, I'm going to have this baby in the car. So then, we made it home, right? Oh, no. We woke the girls up. Who's this? Hello? Hi, this is her. Okay. Sorry, guys. I had to get the cut that short. But back to my story. So, yeah. So, um... Long story short, couldn't stay at home, couldn't make it to Sacramento. Um, came here, and the only bad part of well, the contractions were bad, of course. Don't get me wrong, but my veins are being so terrible. Like on this side, they they did the top of my hand. She was trying to get me on the bottom. It like my arm is lightweight. It's very bruised from that whole situation. But then she was able to finally get me on this side and so yeah um and then when it came to pushing what was up with the pushing babe said i did really good i was just it was really painful (laughs) yeah so now i'm really sleepy i'm tired i want to kind of relax i'm gonna try to get a nap in he has videos to do obviously I'm going to try to get a nap in. Sonali is sleeping. 